Rhys McArdle, um, I don't meet many 16-year-old entrepreneurs, so it's good to meet you. Tell me a little bit about yourself as an entrepreneur. Uh, right, so currently I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Rhys McArdle Group, and that's a, a cluster of three businesses uh, that works across the, the private sector, and I'm also the founder of the Rhys McArdle Foundation. Uh, so our charity foundation works across the whole of East Anglia region and we support young people, education, enterprise in education and healthcare. Uh, so we work with lots of different charities throughout East Anglia and support them throughout funding, advertising, promotion as well as supporting them within merchandising to grow their fundraising. Um, so throughout our group we've got three businesses, uh, Rees McCardle Designs, that's one of my primary companies, uh, that stocks and manufactures uh, greeting cards and stationery uh, that stocks all around the globe and we're uh, just finalising a uh, contract with a high street retailer that will be in approximately 150 stores throughout the globe. Um, so then we have Frederick & Co which is an online retailer um, so we specialise in giftware, scented candles, um, sort of things that are great for gifts and presents. And then finally I've got a, a consultancy firm uh, that specialises in consultancy in schools, businesses and charities and I'm a, a private non-executive director as well. That's fantastic. I don't know whether to ask the next question in the style of The Apprentice or Dragon's Den. I think I'll um, try the Dragon's Den approach first, okay? so making any money? Uh, absolutely, yes. No, I'm uh, receiving a fantastic salary and uh, I've got external employees as well. Uh, we've got a team of eight board of directors and investors and so they're also receiving a very good return on their money and uh, we meet once around once every month and discuss. And also get this right, you were at the school behind you, the Gateway I, I was, I was a student at the Gateway Academy and I've, I've just left in June this year. And you're off to? Uh, Palmer's College to study accounting, business and economics. How are you going to fit time management, Rhys? How are you going to do all that? I, that that's, a lot of people do ask me that. Um, I do find um, struggle for time. I, I do find it hard to find time, but uh, when I truly need it, I will make the time. Um, but I, I like to keep busy. Uh, I've got my three businesses. I work throughout East Anglia. I'm quite uh, I'm a mobile person, so I, I'm here, there and everywhere all the time. Um, but I, I do like what I'm doing and I think sometimes it can, it can be stressful because it can be if you have to have time management and sometimes I may not be that good at it, but uh, I have to go on and it's, I just love what I'm doing. Who are your influences, like locally and also say, say from a media perspective? So locally, I meant we, throughout Tharrock there's a great support network that I've found. So I attend a lot of events throughout Tharrock and Essex as a, Essex as a county as a whole. Um, and I, I'm lucky enough to look at and go, actually go into all the different businesses throughout Tharrock uh, as a borough. And uh, we look at how we can support each other. Um, but as an example, uh, one of my main mentors throughout Essex County is Denise Rossiter from the Essex Chambers of Commerce. Um, she's supported me since the very beginning uh, and she's, she's got to be one of my main mentors as well as uh, all the staff throughout Essex Chambers. They're absolutely fantastic. But do you watch programmes like Dragon's Den, The Apprentice, and think, oh, I can <laughs> I, I do, yes. Um, I, I do find it quite comical sometimes, uh, but that's lots of people start that way. I, mean, I, I find those programmes fantastic. Where do you want to be in five years' time, Rhys? Five years, that's, I, I, again, I get asked that regularly. Um, I'd like to say that I hope to be a millionaire by the time the way things are going, um, although I don't jump to conclusions. But again, we in five years' time, I would still like to have increase our companies within our group, um, to have a successful number of employees, and um, to be able to have our products as a whole stocked throughout the world. Um, I think that's one of our main priorities at the moment. We've got a team of sales representatives that work throughout the country, and uh, I'm just now setting up distributors throughout Australia, Canada, and the United States. Um, so as soon as we've got the products in those countries, uh, there's nothing stopping us.